So the way that the the the, the, the arena that we're going to be doing is going to be based off the game that was played between Michael Krasenkow and uh, and Pragnanta played in the recent FIDE World Cup. So it goes knight f3, d5, d4, knight f6, c4. Uh, Queen's Gambit accepted with pawn takes pawn, knight c3, a6, e4, b5, e5, knight d5, a4, e6. A takes B5, Bishop B4. All pretty standard, by the way. I won't get into the into the, the weeds on how these moves go, but it goes Queen C2, Knight to B6, Queen E4, Queen D5. And this is the position we're going to be starting the view arena from after Queen to D5 here with it being White's move. There are a couple moves that can be played. There's Queen G4 as a move. I think um, Queen G4 pretty universally is the, is the best first move. I think Queen C2 maybe is a move as well. You can also trade on D5. But this game gets very wild after takes, takes Queen G7, takes takes queen a1 and it's a very very wild game here uh which which at the end of the day um uh michael kraskow would go on to win but it was it was a very very wild game so i want to do a view arena with this opening um and we're gonna, we're gonna do this is knight d2 a move i believe knight to d2 after queen d5 is a move if i'm not mistaken yes i do believe knight to d2 is a move here i'm not sure if it's good but it is definitely a move because it cuts off the pin so you're threatening to capture the queen here All right, so we're going to start with this opening. I'm going to play G4 to start with. Uh, no, technically, I'm not TSM FTX because I am not part of an official, uh, like, one of their esports teams. I think takes... Okay, let's play this game. I don't remember how this line goes. Again, I know the next couple of moves in the in this game, but um, what, what I would say is that... Uh, yeah, okay, takes. I take. Takes. Okay, so we're following the game. I like... Again, I don't really know how this line goes. He takes, I block. Uh, no, I think Chess is an eSport, but TSM technically doesn't have a doesn't have a team. Yeah, FTX didn't pay enough to get to get Hikaru. True. Uh, thoughts on John, Giannis delivering a chip to the small market Milwaukee? Awesome stuff. I actually did watch um, the the end of the fourth quarter last night, and uh, what can I say? Just just really inspiring. Now the question here is, do I take the pawn or not? I mean, it's obviously some kind of weird theory. I can also go King E2 like a Bond Cloud. Let's go King E2 in honor of the, the Bond Cloud. Yeah, I can play Rookie 1 here. I can also go like G3. I think I can also take maybe and go Queen F3. This might just be losing, actually, with the way that I've played this, but I don't actually know for sure. He goes knight d3. I mean, I have h4, but I think I also have just g3. Unless I'm missing something very obvious. I mean, maybe he can just make a draw or something, but... Oh, uh, this might just be a draw. Okay, whatever. Let's go for the win. It's unrated, so no reason not to. Let's just run with the pawn. I don't know if this is actually good or not, but very complicated. Anyway, so yeah, so technically I'm not I'm not TSM FTX, but TSM changed their name, so they are TSM uh, TSM FTX these days, uh, as opposed to just TSM. Um, but but yeah, I, I technically I'm not. Thank you, know, Ahmad likes chess for the 15 months. Appreciate it. Thank you. I actually didn't see that for some reason. Um, can maybe go? I guess I just take and go here. And my pawn gets rolling. I've just got to roll this pawn. If this pawn gets to h7, I think I win the game. I mean, he still has a draw, which is kind of funny. Maybe I can go... I, it's like my idea here is to refuse. If I go here, he checks, and then he just makes a draw. Let's go here. Queen out three was obviously a better move, but trying to win. Time to renegotiate that contract. TSM FTX needs to pay up. I need a new penthouse in Dubai. True story. True story. Okay, let's go. Um, might just be lost here, but maybe not. Let's just go H7. Okay, I can obviously take. I'm going to go here. I must be losing somehow. But I don't actually see the win right off. B5, 
The queens I take with check. Goes here, I make a queen. I might be winning, actually. I don't know how he stops the pawn. Takes, I take, and then king h2, g2. Very tricky position. Okay, so he checks on e3. Does this actually work? I go here, knight d1. I guess this is still a draw or something. So I have some d5 trick here is what I'm trying to figure out. I'm going to play d5. <clears throat> I guess he has to take with the pawn. Okay, he goes king there. Probably just a, still just a draw. Again, I'm trying to win this game for some reason. It gets my better judgment. But let's, let's just try. Oh, what did I do? Oh, that was stupid, actually. Yeah, I think it's just a draw. It's just a draw. Yeah. Thank you to Immortal. Thank you for the two months. Hey, Cringe Owl for the three. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. How come I never took the bishop? Because there was a draw. There's always a queen d2, queen h6 repetition. Okay, so we're going to play with the black pieces. I didn't think this was just a straight draw, though. What do you guys ask me? You're asking me, what is this? Uh, you're saying, uh, what is this? I was Japanese, so I might have some exposure with this. I don't know what that means. Anyway, um, in the original game, white won, by the way. White won in the original game. Now, I think you can take both ways here, but I think... I don't actually know which one's right, so I'm going to take the pawn. Oh, did I ever play Go? Uh, very briefly, but not, not seriously, no. Very briefly. Pragnanata said that he saw a force draw, that's why I went into the crazy line. I mean, maybe there is a force draw there. I, I don't know. Um, but yeah. Problem in this one is I'm just have a pawn here. I've just got an extra pawn. Why are we starting this random position? Because we're doing a view arena of the position out of the FIDE World Cup. Go here, guard the pawn. I threaten to take. Uh, I think I just... Oh, he's got... Um... Bishop d5. I think this is good, though. <clears throat> Try to smurf and get the radio down. No, this is on radio, you guys. Because uh, I wanted everybody to have the ability to play. Is streaming alone sufficient to keep in shape for radio turns? Or do you need extra hours studying for most days? I study before these meltwater events um, for probably like 10, 10 hours. 10 hours or so. Um... Uh, in general terms, what I would say is that uh, I think it's sufficient, though. Classical chess is different, but care to comment on Banana Gate? I don't know what Banana Gate is, so I assume you're trolling me. By the way, look at this pawn clump. They're, the pawns are just marching down the board here. It's very beautiful. Don't, don't you still have a coach that tells you what to do? No, I do not. Um... So anyway, um, yeah, that, that's what I would say, broadly speaking. All right, so someone was asking about NBA Finals. Yeah, I was very impressed last night by the Bucks. I did watch um, I did watch that game. I'm going to go 92. Someone recommended this before, whether it was playable. And I don't know if it is, but it looks interesting. So he takes. So actually, I'm going to be down a pawn, so maybe this was a poor idea. But anyway, we'll see. Is this position 0.0, .0 eval? I don't actually know. Uh, my mods came up with this. So I, I honestly have no idea what the correct evaluation of this is. Um, take. I don't actually, I guess he take. Okay, I'm going to take and play this end game. I don't know how bad this really is. because I'm getting a lot of play on the dark squares here. Thank you to Puminator for the 14. Thanks so much to Puminator. Let's go Bishop A3, hit the Rook. I think I'll go here, maybe bishop f3 next to him, maybe knight c5, depending. 
think I'll go here because I really would like some fossils. Okay, knight d5 will bring the king up. Maybe rook b1, maybe knight c5. I should be okay here. Doesn't look that bad. Looks quite reasonable. Let's see, okay. Let's go here, maybe. Maybe knight c5. I mean, I, I should be okay. I don't actually know if I'm better, though. Okay, I think what I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to play h4. Maybe h5. Go g4. Maybe g5. Try to grip these dark squares. Do I enjoy gambling or poker? Um, I mean, I don't mind making the occasional fun bet, like the $100 bet on, like, on, on like the Milwaukee Bucks to win the, win the NBA championship. But I, I don't generally... Uh, not, not my thing, generally speaking. We haven't talked about Taco Bell in a while. When was the last time you went? I haven't been to Taco Bell in a long time. Uh, but yeah, I don't. I don't do crypto either. Yeah. Not my thing at all. Let's stick with the pawn. My new house, what happened? Uh, I, I don't know. If you guys haven't seen this setup, then you haven't been watching my stream that much. Because I've been streaming from TSM for the last, like... Uh, Last, like, what, like, last, like, uh, three months, maybe? No, I haven't owned Bitcoin since very early on. I owned Bitcoin at 900, and I sold it, like, 45, 4,600, I think it was. Uh, so I haven't, I haven't been in Bitcoin since then. Um, and take and go Knight G5. I guess I'll take, why not? Create the weak pawn. Um, I mean, there's Knight G5 here with, like, Rook G1, maybe? I don't know. Actually, you know what? Let's go, let's go here. This might not work. I'm trying to get something really sneaky with, like, a rook g1. I thought I had some kind of checkmate here. But maybe I don't. Let's, we'll, we'll find out very soon. Okay, let's go check. Tweet by YouTube. Did YouTube put out a tweet? What did YouTube put out? What did YouTube put out? Oh, that's a blunder. He gets mated. I have here in checkmate or checkmate. He actually blunder. Whichever one he goes to, he gets mated. That's checkmate. He's up two juicers, but he's mated. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Can I be honest? This is so dirty. This is so dirty, you guys. I'm going to show you this tweet in a second. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Um, oh my gosh. It's such a dirty, it's so dirty. And I'll tell you why this tweet is so dirty in a second. You know, actually this guy's 1810. So I'll play the game out if he's here. I'll tell you why it's dirty. Just, just give me a second. I'll tell you guys why it's dirty in a second. Okay. Let's just take and take. Yeah. I'm going to show you the tweet after the game, you guys. Yeah, I'm gonna show you the tweet in a second, you guys. Uh, and, and I really want to do it now, but I have to. I have to show some respect for my opponent here and play this out. Um, but I'll, I'll tell you why it's dirty. I'll tell you why the tweet is dirty, and someone's gonna be very unhappy about it. <laughs> I'll I'll show you guys in a second. Oh my gosh. They X Maxi Mix for the Prime. They I'm a gamer for the four months. Thank you so much. Let's go here. No, no, you guys. I'm, I'm not trolling. It's just I, I want to play the game. Because I'm going to need a minute or two to, to explain why. There's a tweet by YouTube. Um, Okay, knight four is a good move. Let's go, I guess, back. Yeah, it's about chess. Yeah, it's about chess. Okay, let's go b4. If takes, I take on d4. Hurry up and lose, do we want to watch a video? It's actually, it's just a tweet. It's not a video um, on YouTube. It's just a tweet. Okay, let's go here. Hit the bishop. I go d4, c3. End the game pretty fast here. 
take. Let's just go here. Rook H1, Rook A1, C3. Everything comes home. Go D4. Uh, let's just go here. D3, end the game. Go here. D2, C2, game over. Go D2, C2. Here's not. Okay, Queen G4 right. So okay, so I'm playing the same position, colors reversed. Um, I'm gonna go Rook G8 this time. Do something different. He doesn't stream daily. That's normal. Well, I, I I can tell you guys um a very easy way to get an idea of like what what's normal or not. Normal is just look at um uh look at what's happening. Uh, to be fair, Levy did not start the chest boom. Same did not start the chest boom uh, either, but Same has had an had a very very big influence um, in India in particular in getting uh, getting the interest level way up, way up. Um, go Queen A five and Queen A one. Yeah, I mean there there are a couple of booms. You know what I would say the first boom. I mean is oh, not all, but I would say a large part of it is almost exclusively due to XQC. Uh, the boom on Twitch because like what happened on Twitch was XQC just started playing chess all the time and it started like you saw endless endless uh, clips on LSF about chess with XQC and that really got it going um on Twitch and then of course when he did his collaboration with me I think that kind of really just the whole thing sort of exploded into epic proportions um so I I would say that's probably the the biggest uh, the biggest factor that being said I would I would argue that Queen's Gambit probably had a way bigger impact overall um for the chess boom than any than anything else i i mean Qu queen's gambit just like really blew the roof off the top uh is what i would say it really did so those are those are the two booms um and, and i would say those are probably the biggest factors xqc and all those clips that this started popping up on lsf that played a huge role that was the first thing and i just wondered of course or did i Kind of I did, but kind of I didn't. Um, yeah, he's got check. I go here, I guess. Take, I take, because I take. He takes, I go king e7, I'm fine. Um, but yeah, I would say that uh, those were probably the... Uh, those um, those were uh, those were the two biggest things. But Queen's Gambit was objectively the biggest. It's Queen's Gambit just like really blew everything up insanely. Uh, no, no, Moses. Uh, we're talking about chess boom. We're not talking about OGs. There's a big difference. There's a big difference. Thank you, Deroshi TV for the 300 bits. Thank you, Daniel OC Machado for the 7 and Bobzilla for the 16. Because if you want to talk about OG, if you want to talk about the true OGs on, um, on, on Twitch, like the people at the very start, the two earliest streamers who, who did chess were Hutch and I believe, uh, Chess Network, Jerry. Those were the two guys who did Chess Network and, um, Chess network and uh and um actually my king should be on d8. It's on the wrong square here. Uh but chess network and hutch were the top, were the first two. Let's just take. Let's just go here. Yeah, Jerry, I I I don't know what, what happened to Jerry, what he got into, because like he he just he never streams anymore. But but I remember even in the very early days, like Jerry, well, I was aware of who who he was. Bras were early, yes, but but Jerry and um, Hutch and Hutch and Chess Network were, I think, significantly earlier, if I'm not not mistaken. Like I thought they started, um, I thought they started like maybe even a year before that. I've never, um, I've never, I've never met Jerry. No, no, I've never met him. But yeah, Hutch and Hutch and uh, Hutch and Chess Network were the 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 first two. He goes bishop d7. I think I have rook a4 here. Who is Jerry? Uh, Chess Network was his um was his username. Go here. Go here. Anish Geary tweet. Oh, did Anish make a tweet? Let's just take. How is Kasparov's new chess website doing? I actually have no idea. Um, really have no clue. Oops. 
That's GG's. Anish made a tweet too. Let me let me see if I can find it. Um Let me see if I can find Anish's tweet. Let's see. Oh, did Anish make a tweet? He made a tweet too. I'll get to his tweet in a second. Um, yeah. All right, so I'm not going to go Queen G4. This game... What did the other guy play? I think someone just traded Queens. I'm going to trade Queens here. Uh, I do follow Anish, but I, don't, I didn't have Twitter open on the other monitor right off. Archet's Nemo WGM scandal. I spoke about that yesterday. Uh, I think it's uh, it's a load of bullocks. Part of part of my part of my British English, but it's just a load of bullocks. Pretty pretty. Oh, I could have taken the pawn. Why didn't I take the pawn? Um, yeah, it's just a load of bullocks. End of story. Okay. Um, let's just trade the rooks here. It's bullocks, not bullocks. Okay, bullocks, bullocks. Okay, whatever, dude. Um. Anyway, but yeah, to total, total rubbish, total rubbish. I'm canceling the UK. Yes, I'm canceling the UK for saying that. I was taking a 94. I'm just up a pawn here. I'm doing very well. But yeah, that, that's what I would say is uh, that I, I think it's just, it's absolute rubbish. Absolute rubbish, and it's and I actually on on my stream yesterday. I basically to prove the point, what I said is um I said uh I said um I basically I found a pattern in my norms just to, just to prove the point, which was like it, with my norms for becoming a GM, I basically proved the point that you know in order to become a grandmaster, the way that I got it was I beat up all the North Americans. Like I must have made all these deals with North Americans because I didn't do very well against the against the Germans um or the Eastern Europeans. So, um, so the whole thing was total garbage. Goes to h6. I'm just going to take on f7 here. And that's the thing. It's like they basically like they they found some like I mean the guy stuff on Loeffler. He basically found some nonsense that like statistically you know Nemo scored like 38 percent against like against Western players and she scored like uh she scored like 80 percent against the Eastern Europeans and I was just like. Total load of, load of, load of, you know what. Okay, let's put everything on the, on the black squares. Actually, let's go here. I'm going to just give up a pawn here. Rotate the pony. But yeah, that, that's what I said about it, was that it was total nonsense. Absolute nonsense. Well, I create accounts at lower levels so lower rate people can face you. Yes, um, I already have, uh, but I just kind of want to do an. I just want to do an arena. I wasn't really thinking about it um, this morning, but I do have another account that I can. Uh, no, Nemo's tiles were not bought, you guys. Just to be very clear, they they were not bought. Uh, yeah, on my main account, I'm still thirty two fifty eight despite losing some rating points yesterday. Okay, so he takes on d five. I assume pawn takes is right. Although, let me think about this. Hmm. I guess takes is right. So he has to take, and I guess I just take. I don't know if this is good or bad. Okay, blunders again. A lot of people are forgetting that the knight guards the rook here on the back rank. Mishra did, yeah. Mishra played and lost in round one. Let's go here. Maybe rook d1, rook a1, bishop d3. Should be pretty good. I like my position. Whoa, thank you to Grain Marmalade for the 10 gifted subs. Appreciate it. Thank you so much to Grain Marmalade. Thank you. Oh, he might be referring to a Danny statement. Young guns growing on their site and beating big guns. Oh, what is, uh, what, what did Danny say yesterday? Go ninety five ninety p three. Think of the Nash Bullock for the eight months. Thank you so much, Nash Bullock. Let's go ninety p three here. 
Does somebody have a link to what Danny Danny said or something? Because I apparently said something. Oh, he just he just said that all these junior, all these young kids that are growing on site. He's very proud of them. Okay, let's go B two. Let's go uh, Bishop D three to hit the rook on F one. Who do I have in round four? MVL or Pragnanta? I mean, you have to pick MVL. Uh, no, Arena Kings is actually a little bit later. Arena Kings will be starting in about an hour and ten minutes. We're just playing. We're just playing a classic arena before then, just to keep it very, very low key chill today. What I like is these chess in the Olympics. Um, I don't think chess should be in the Olympics. I've said it before. I don't think it should be because the problem is chess is very much. Um, you do need to be in good shape for, to to for chess uh, because games go very, very long. But the thing is, it's, all, it's like mental and uh, physical. But if you if you have chess in the Olympics, you have too many other games that could make a make a fair claim that they belong in the Olympics too. Uh, do these many upsets at the FIDE World Cup show there's some flaws with invitations or stuff for top level tournaments? Not really. What I would say is that the format it, having only two games shows there's very high variance. Ratings are basically the accumulation of having played a lot of tournaments over many years and consistently performing well. It doesn't mean that in an individual game you can't lose, but it's all about long-term consistency. And the FIDE World Cup is very much not about long-term consistency. It's about your consistency in a two-game match and not blundering randomly. It's just like the same thing I would say. It's like why, um, you know, like why, uh, why is Anish not doing well? Anish is, you know, a very strong chess player. Um, and and so yeah, it just it's one of those things where it's it's just over a two game period, anything can happen. Whereas your your rating is generally a reflection of your consistency over a long period of time. Okay, I think I'm gonna play king here. Maybe c5 next move. Go c5, open this up. I have d4 coming. This should be very, very good for me. I just take and go here. Knight e2. Oh, I thought I'd c3. I don't quite have it. So let's just go, go here. Maybe move the king and then move the knight and take the pawn. Do I think the World Cup should be a different format? I don't know about a different format. By the way, this is probably winning now because he has no bishop to guard. If the bishop was on d1, he would guard, but now it's on c2, so it doesn't guard the knight. But yeah, I would say that I, I just don't think you can. Two games is too small of a sample size, exactly. That's why you have the upsets, because in a single game, someone can make a blunder. It's like Fabiano is a great example. Think about Fabiano. Let's say, let's say he plays a normal tournament nine rounds. He has this one big slip-up, like his game against Jumbayev, and he loses that game. If he plays well and like he wins like two or three other games, his rating probably stays the same or he gains a few points. But because it's only two games, he doesn't have a chance to um he doesn't have a chance to like show consistency. That's that's the thing. So it's like, I mean, it, the format is based on is format is set up to have variance occur. That's the reason. Okay, let's go here, create the Arabian checkmate. Okay, let's just take and go checkmate. You have three stingy fingers for the five months. Appreciate it. Your coffee at chess videos are really exploding. We're going to be taking that bigger. I'm going to be doing an event somewhere else in the near future. I'm not going to say where, um, but I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be doing something in person in the next month or so. And undoubtedly word will probably get out about it, but we're going to be doing something down the road. It plays queen G4. I'm going to do something a little bit weird. So I'm going to go G6 here. Maybe king F8 is a move too. Um, again, I assume I take with the rook and take with the bishop. We all keep forgetting Karyak in this World Cup. Yeah, it's kind of weird. We we do keep forgetting that Sergei's in this event. Maybe I'm playing Obama. Yes. Going to Alabama. Well, the funny thing about Alabama is there is actually, um, there is one district. I think it's a Greenwood, Alabama or Greenville. Greenwood, Greenville. I forget what it is. Um, one of the most affluent uh, suburbs, I think, in, in, uh, in, in the Alabama area. And they do have a lot of chess there, from what I've heard. It not not Huntsville. It's like it's like green something. Greenwood or Greenville. I, I don't know exactly what it is. Take and go here. Need a, a legit lizard for the four months, but yeah. Uh I'm gonna play H5 and C5 maybe.
Any plans outside the U.S.? Not for a while. Uh, I think I can go C5 and take. Maybe I'm wrong, but I think I can. Have I ever tried surfing? Yes, I have actually tried surf. Oh, uh, wait a second. Did I just blunder? I think I did. Wait. Hmm. If I take his takes... Uh-huh. I guess I have bishop e4. Somehow I just misplaced. I guess I'll go rook a7 and castle. Shanklin will win. Obviously, it's possible. I, I don't really see it happening, but it could. Or no, wait. Shanklin's out. Didn't Shanklin lose to Arashenko? Wait, Shanklin's gone. Shanklin's not in the World Cup. Zhang is the only American left. Unless I'm crazy. Wait, I thought he lost to Arashenko. He won? Oh, did I misread the result? Oh, he, oh, I, I misread the result. I looked, oh, I thought he lost that last game. He won the game? Okay, I, I clearly just misread the result. Ah, okay, fair enough. It was sketchy, but he won. Okay, I just, I only looked very briefly, and I only saw the result, so I clearly, I just misread the result. Um, okay, bishop g5. I can rotate my knight, maybe. I think I'll go here, knight c6. Oh, result, results did show Shanklin losing, so I wasn't crazy. So the results did show him losing. Okay. Because, like, I thought, I thought that it showed him losing when, when I went to, when I looked at the, just, I very briefly perused the scores. So I'm not crazy. Okay. I'm not crazy. Um, okay, I have knight b4 here, maybe. Just go here. Maybe 97 actually makes sense. Thoughts on Prague being in the top 32? Not surprising. Um, with all the upsets, I would say it's not it's not that surprising to see th these players in the last 32. Shanklin now is the easiest pairing since Fabian is not in his path. Aha. Uh -huh. Aha. Uh Aha. -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, someone said that. Someone someone said that that basically that half of the draw was very very weak, or, or that it was very soft without without Fabiano um, in it. I think I, oh, I can't take. Oh, I might be in trouble here. So let's take and go back and take maybe. Go here and hit the pawn at e five. Any idea why there's so many upsets? Because the variance factor. When it's when you only play two games, anybody can make a blunder. Bobby Portis or Bobby Fisher? Bobby Portis is what on the Milwaukee Bucks, right? Uh, Bucks deserve to win. Let's go here. Hit the pawn on F3. Whoa! Thank you to Ali Reza Faruja for the raid with 269. Thank you so much to Mohammed Reza for the raid. Thank you so much, man. Appreciate it. Hope all is well. Okay, I should be better. I don't know if I'm winning. He has three pawns that are weak. So he's got three weak pawns. I'm going to put the rook on a light square to start, and I'm probably going to try to rotate the... Wait. No, actually, let's go here, because now I go f6 and just trap the bishop. Thoughts on Ali Reza's slump? Um, I don't have really strong, strong thoughts or opinions. I think... I think it's a stylistic issue more than anything. I think the 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 match style that he had playing against um playing against someone like Cinderov, he just he sort of under not underestimated, but he misevaluated Cinderov's strengths. And he went into he went into these really sharp lines. And I think Cinderov is someone who in those really sharp lines was not that he's gonna he's better than Ali Reza, but he's far more dangerous when he gets those kinds of positions than if it had been more on the uh on the dry side. I wanna know how you stream. Um how do I stream? I, I don't understand the question. Okay, we got the dub. You need an existential muffin for the prime. Thank you so much for the existential muffin. Appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, um... Yeah, I mean, I guess I'll play this this game. I'm kind of curious. Thank you to Oh Boy for the four months. Yeah, I know you're asking, what do I use? Everybody uses OBS. Either use OBS or o OBS or OBS Streamlabs. 
you hit the start stream button yes exactly but yeah i think ali reza just misevaluated what a cinderov strengths were and he went into positions that like cinderov really felt happy with like you could tell from the king's indian game especially and also the nidorf game i think that was the nidorf on um, the, the second classical game that it was very clear that like cinderov loves those really sharp really aggressive positions and i think it was just a mistake by ali reza to go into them it's like I always I always say, like, for example, how does someone who's 2200, 2300 beat a GM? The way that they beat a GM is they go into something very sharp tactically because GMs can make blunders in tactical positions. And I would say, like, in terms of Ali Reza, the same thing kind of applies where, um, where like, Cinderov, obviously very strong GM, can play universally, but very clear that Cinderov uh, loved these very sharp positions. And I think Ali Reza... Just, I, I think like he, he, it's it's possible you can get taken taken aback or taken by surprise at least in the um at least in the uh in the first classical game because you, you don't necessarily have enough time to really study your opponent's uh, openings. But in the rapid, it was a big mistake. In the, in the rapid, it was a big mistake. Um, that that Ali Reza did not adjust to that. If he takes, I take. I should be okay here. Goes g5, kind of a weird move. And take. I think I'm gonna take and go here. I get a knife to f5. Not great. So I'll trade and try to put a knife on f5 later. I think it's Dasco for the prime. Thanks so much, Dasco. Uh, is that the same with Fabiano? No, Fabiano got his position. He just blundered. He he got a great position against Jumbai. He just he blundered. Play H4, maybe. So that's what I say. What fields outside of sports interest you? Um, I mean, science to some degree has always interested me. It's been an interest of mine. That's what I would say. All right, we're one hour in, so I need to run some ads, you guys. Sorry. Right, you guys can be mad at me, but I have to run some ads. I'm kind of strong. I'm kind of behind on my ads this month, so I need to I need to run a little bit extra today. Uh, let's take the pawn on c3 here. Have I ever tried the finance field? Yeah, I have some investments. I bought some uh, I bought some Intel this morning ahead of earnings. Earnings tomorrow is it tomorrow? I think afterwards. I know it looked like it looked reasonable from what I was looking at when I was reading up on Intel. So yes, I do. Okay, I think I'm going to play knight of five, hit the rook here. Oh, I could have just taken the pawn, too. Why didn't I do that? That was simple. Okay, let's go here. I mean, everything is... It's actually kind of similar to Ali Reza's game against Cinderov, weirdly enough, where I get, like, this knight to h6 potential with these pawns. But I don't really want to do that, so I'm just going to come back and bring the rook around. Does being with TSM stop you from making your own merch? No, it doesn't. Um, I just I've been focused on other things. Okay, let's go here. Okay, I think I can play C4 if he takes. I just take the bishop, and now here I guess I have knight D6 also. Cut the pawn off, bring the bishop back, target the knight, win the pawn. Do I think TSM will sign another chess player anytime soon? I'm I'm very I'm very skeptical about it. Um I, I really don't see that happening. I I mean, I feel like chess has kind of cooled off a lot on um on Twitch. I mean it's it's still doing well, obviously, but it's not it's not what it was. And um so I don't I don't really see that happening. Just an honest take, you guys. Um, but that's what I would say. Let's just trade the rooks here again. That's that's just what I would say. Um, let's go here and take. Like I'll give you guys an example. Like uh, uh, here's a perfect example. I thought Ali Reza's match against uh, Cinderov, but a big mistake was like, why did Ali Reza play in the fi in the final game? I understood playing like Cillian, but like. He should have probably played just e5 on e5 against Cinderov in that second classical game.
I'm very glad XQC and you initiated the chess Twitch movement. It brought so much joy to my life. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Leonard. Or Len, Leonard. Leonard. Thank you, Leonard. Very nice. Very kind. Thank you. Yeah, if you don't like ads, you can subscribe, by the way. It's only $5. But uh, as I've said before, I'm contractually required to run ads. Um, as most people probably have noticed, most streamers uh, who are either partnered with Twitch or with, or with any of the orgs, generally they have to run ads. And there's a reason for that, you guys. What am I doing here? I guess I'll go here, maybe. Am I going to be involved in the next Pog Champs? No, I'm not going to be involved in the next Pog Champs, most likely. They uh, they decided to hold they decided to hold Pog Champs for at the same time as the St. Louis Rapid and Blitz event, which I am competing in. So uh, I do not think I will be involved with it. No. Um, just let's take with this knight because my knight on B5 has extra jumps here versus the knight on F3, which doesn't. So I want this knight versus this knight. So I can take with the bishop to hit the knight. Go here to hit the pawn on d5. Thank you to XP Bleebity for the prime. Any plans on Hus playing Hustlers like the boat testers have been doing? Um, and number 47, Claire, I actually been playing against the coffee chess guys here in Los Angeles. There are quite a few videos up on um quite a few videos up on 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 the tubes on YouTube. So uh you can check those out. So yes, I have I, I have plans to do something in person uh in August as well. I'm not gonna say what it is at this very moment, but I will be. Thank you to I Chelly for the uh, two months. Thank you so much. I can take or play bishop c3. I can also take here. Let's just uh, take and take with the pawn. Also, yeah, I can't hustle either. That's the other thing. Like trying to hustle is just not going to happen. Um, it's just not. It's just not not going to work. I'm going to play f4 here. Bring the king in. Go here in king d4. I think I'm going to go king e4. Keep the king close. I think I will play... I think it's time to bring the rook in. Time to bring the rook to the party, as I say. Not everyone will recognize me. Um, try and figure out how I say this without it sounding like a pago, but like literally if I show up somewhere where someone plays chess, like someone's played chess, like even a tournament in their life, they're going to know who I am. Like I'm, I'm that's just like, there's zero chance of me not being recognized. Yeah, there, there's, there's literally zero chance. Go here. The knight was not hanging, I don't think, there. But may maybe it was. I don't think so. Um, let's play h4, maybe. I mean, it has nothing to do with being a big deal. Or not. I'm just saying, like, if you've played chess at all, you know who I am. That that's that's all I'm saying. Um, I know people will take that out of context and say say something silly, like I'm I'm flexing or something. But that that has nothing to do with flexing. That's just reality. Go undercover and it can. Yeah, I mean, theoretically, I could. I mean, actually, that's why, like, even even prior to Twitch or any of that stuff happening, like, I very rarely would go to the parks. I very rarely. Because, like, there's just no point. People aren't going to play me. People in LA know who you are, IMO. Uh, LA actually is a little bit di But even then, like, even then, I feel like it, the even though the chess scene is very small in LA relative to somewhere like New York, I still think that if someone saw me, they they would they like if I went somewhere they they would know. It's just not possible for me. Take the pawn. Okay, let's just trade. Do I get free meals as a celebrity? No, you guys. Come on. I did get free soup in Santa Barbara a lot, uh, two weeks ago, though, as I told you guys, which was pretty weird. It was the first time it ever happened. Go here and take. Yeah, it was, it was very it was free. No soup for you. Yeah, no soup for you. Classic Seinfeld, right? Um, <laughs> let's go here. It was pretty funny because I was out in Santa Barbara um, just taking some time off. I took like three short mini vacation and um, I went to the pier and I just went to like get some soup. And it's like, you know, it's what it is. Pretty, pretty normal. And um, and then like and then one of the guys like the, the guy who who I went to place the order with, he was like, 
you could look like you might play chess. Are you are you that chess guy? And I'm like, yeah. It's like, okay. It's like nice to meet you. And I'm like, okay, that's that's nice. It's all fine. And then um and then when I go to pick up like I think I'd ordered uh I'd ordered some clam chowder. I think some like a, a lobster like a lobster roll or something like that. I had done you know the classic classic uh classic fish thing and um. And then like, and then I went to get the food and he's like, and then he threw in like a free, uh, free crab bisque as well. And it was very, it was very funny. It was, it was nice, but it was, it was funny. It was funny. Let's go here maybe and take with the pawn. I'm going to play arena Kings. Yeah. In 15 minutes. Yep. I think it is Zaldo for the 300 bits. Yes. The lobster pincer, of course. Yeah. It was funny. I mean, to me, I, I, I'm, I'm somewhat used to it. So like, I figure at the end of the day, it's good. If people recognize me, that's a good thing. Because it means chess is growing in popularity. Because honestly, outside of Europe, I've almost never been recognized. Um, yeah. Like, I get recognized in Europe far more than, than, than in North America. Like, very rarely in North America. I still go here, maybe 92. I don't have a good position, by the way. Kind of ugly. Uh, I said, I said Europe, I, I said Europe. So France, I, I, I mean, I haven't really, I haven't really spent large quantities of time in France, but like in Germany, I've been recognized like a million times, literally a million times in Germany. F6 is a good move. Um, I'm actually doing kind of poorly here. Take. And okay, now I have to find something before I end up in a world of hurt. Um, I guess I'll go here, maybe. I'm doing very badly in this game. Okay, King C, it looks like a good move. I have Bishop A4, maybe. I think mean, I'm just going to try to attack here, maybe on the king's side a little bit. Let's just go h4. If he takes, I still can take. Not a good position. Have I ever been to London? Yeah, I've spent. I spent. I've spent more birthdays in London than I think anywhere else. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but yeah. Thank you, Rashad, for the two months. Thanks so much. Thank you, Zoldo, for the gift sub as well. Thank you. Yeah, I've spent more, I've spent, I think I spent every birthday from, there, there was a tournament in London in December every year that I played in from 2009 through, I think, 2019. So 2009, I spent my birthday in London, 2010, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Yeah, I think I spent 10 birthdays in a row in London. And I don't, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but yeah, I've, I've spent way too much time in London. <laughs> uh, I can trade knights here also take it's actually pretty terrible for me let's go here oh and i just hung something too oh i just hung something very poor let's go here maybe I'm trying to get really sneaky okay goes there i go here let's go check let's go oh i guess i'll go back I need to focus. I don't have a lot of time here. If I get this pawn, it's very unclear. Pawns are very fast, I think. I'm going to make this pre-move. It's a very dangerous pre-move, but I'm going to do it anyway. I have check it. Wait, I gotta move. Why am I thinking so long? Blundered. Oh, I'm too slow. It's a good move.
Whoa, what did he just do? Did he just throw? Okay, let's keep going. The pressure got him. Maybe the pressure got him. Maybe the pressure got him. Great Germany doesn't have a superior grandmaster, so he watched Ikaru. He thought a premude? Maybe he did. I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe. But yeah. Chris Paul up 2 0 there. Yeah, that, I mean, although wasn't Milwaukee just a better team objectively? I mean, that, that's what it seemed like to me. I don't know. To me, Milwaukee seemed like the better team. I, I mean, the reason I feel bad for Chris Paul, though, is he probably should have won a title. He should he should have won a title with one of the other teams when he got injured. I don't know, like, with the Rockets or, or which one, but he probably should have won in one of those years when he got injured. And this year, when he was actually not injured in the finals, or he was able to go through the playoffs and not really, you know, get, get seriously injured, like, this is the time that it's like they, they don't have the better team. So I feel bad for him. Because like he, he always was getting he was getting injured at, at, at in, in a lot of these moments. So okay, we have a very similar game to what I had before. Oh, we're playing a GM, Sergey Matsenko. Who is this dude? Sergey Matsenko. I've never even heard of this guy. I have no idea who this is. It says GM from America, but I've never heard of him. Weird. Go here, maybe Knight C6. I've played this very poorly. I should put the Knight on A6. Um, take. I don't actually know. Does he take with a Knight or does he take with a... He is Sergei Zhigalka? No, I don't think so. Maybe he is. I actually have no idea. It's possible. At any rate, whatever. Uh, let's just go here. Knight 94 next move, of course. GM, I was a, what's up, Hikaru? I was a member for juniors with your bro when we were kids. Long, long time ago, my man. But yes. Okay, let's go here. Maybe 96 take. Should play 96 right. Oh, I knight B3. So poor. Take and check, maybe? Check, check, takes. I can also go C3, but I'm going to check him. Let's start running this pawn. This bad boys, you, I've got a pass pawn. In end games, you need to use your pass pawns. Any future collabs coming up? Um, nothing in the near future, as far as I can tell. But, um, okay, I'm going to go here, maybe C2. Try to force this pawn down. Do I trade? No, I think I go C2. E6, I trade him, run my king over. Why is he GM in your arena? Because why not? I mean, GMs can play too. There's no reason GMs can't play. I won't comment on the U.S. Championship with Yasser. No, I'm going to play in the U.S. Championship, you guys. Assuming it happens, consider, considering that, um, considering that, uh, considering that Missouri seems to be a hot spot for COVID right now, we'll see if the tournament even ends up happening. But assuming it happens, I will, I will be playing in it. Let's go King F8. I don't think he has a way to get the Rook in. This is the problem. If he could get the Rook in, he would have a checkmate. But I don't think he actually can. Oh, did I just blunder? I actually did. That was stupid. Um, that was very stupid, actually. Go here, maybe, and rook g6. I mean, yeah, that was very stupid of me to allow this. I'm going to try to do this. Why did I even do this? I guess I have this. Oh, I've got a check, actually. I just realized I have a check.
I got the king to e6. Okay, my knight's... Whoa, he's trying to get really sneaky here. Yeah, it's a draw. Try to win, but it's a draw. My brother lives there, said it's very bad. Oh, lives in Missouri? Okay, yeah. No, I mean, I'm, I was lucky to draw that. If he had better technique, he would have won that game. Um, but what 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 was... Uh, yeah, so Missouri... It, I mean, if COVID is under control in, in Missouri, then then yeah, I guess so. But we'll see. I'm not I'm not sure though. I'm not sure. Uh today is a rest day for the World Cup, yeah. Today, today there are no games. You can obviously take and just go like knight b6, knight c6, knight a4 is a move. Um knight a4 looks fine. Actually just bishop f5 looks fine too. I think I can go I think I had this position earlier in this event already. Chess should be in the next Olympics. I don't think chess should be in the Olympics. If you have chess in the Olympics, then you can't make... I don't think there's any rational reason that you can't say that poker should be in the Olympics. And poker should not be in the Olympics. So I don't I don't agree. Yeah, I got vaccinated um, over a month ago now. Probably like seven weeks. Yeah, I mean, it's just... I mean, chess doesn't belong in the Olympics. I mean, I think you have to be in pretty good shape. Like, you know, I go to the gym almost every day now, and you have to be in pretty good shape to uh, you be in pretty good shape to um, to uh, to play long games of classical chess. But if you do, but the thing is, like, again, it's still more mental than physical. So that, that's what I would say. Like, I mean, I think I think you can make a good argument that chess should be in Olympics based on based on how much energy you have to put in for like working out. And being in good shape physically, but at the same time, it's still more mental than physical. So, like, you just can't really, you can't do it because then you have to. You, I'm actually not joking. I do, I do go to the gym almost every day. Like, I do go and lift every day. I'm not, I'm not joking when I say that. Um, I don't do ellipticals usually. If it, I, I mean, when when I go psycho mode, like if I if I'm going hiking, I'll go do the uh, stair mask. So that's my favorite favorite one. Let's play Queen G4. I like the stairmaster is my personal favorite for that. Like put put on a nice big like backpack with like twenty pounds on your back and then go do the stairmaster to 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 simulate like hiking up a mountain. It's painful, but it's it's good stuff. Go here in castles. <laughs> uh, but yeah, hey okay, castle. It's not a good move. He's he's gonna and there's gonna be some kind of a. Uh, I feel like he's getting mated on the dark squares here, kind of. Well, I covered the Stockfish lawsuit. I already spoke a little bit about it yesterday. Take. Maybe F7 is a move. Maybe Bishop G7. What part of chess is physical? Well, I'll give you an example. If you play, if you play a six-hour game of classical chess, um, like... If you get tired more, you get tired quicker, and you're under pressure in a game, you're much more likely to blunder. Um, so, so that's what I would say. Let's go here and knight you sub knight you five maybe. But yeah, I, I, anyway though, I don't think chess should be in the Olympics because you, you can't make it because if chess is in, then all these other all these other games kind of have to be in the Olympics. That's the problem. Play knight g5 here, maybe? And then takes and takes, and I'm winning. Our golden boy Basim lost yesterday to Bakro. Uh, Basim is Egyptian, right? What about chess want a stair master in the Olympics, right? Okay, I think I'm going to go f4 here. I, th I think this is completely fine. 
I read somewhere about chess players burning up to 5k calories a match. Yeah, it's possible you can burn that much. I think that's nonsense. I don't think it's 5,000 calories, but I do think you can burn like two to 3,000 in a game. I do think that is legit true. Uh, let's go here and hit the pawn on e6. Do I think the Olympics should even go ahead? No, of course the Olympics shouldn't go ahead. But the problem is there's too much money on the line, and money makes the world go round and round and round and round. So that's why they're holding it. Don't be a stranger. Everybody, everybody knows that. So, you know, how can they not hold it? If they don't hold the Olympics, someone, who knows which company or which part of the government or something, but someone's going someone's gonna to be losing $500 million probably. Pretty sure that's not, that, that can't happen. That's just the reality. Just take the juicer. I have a fork here. It's more than that even? Well, uh, how much did Athens lose when they had the Olympics? I mean, come on. You, you, you can't lose $500 million or whatever it is. Like, you just can't. You, just, you're, you, you can't lose that much money. Money makes the world go round and round and round. Unless you're a flat earther, then the money does not make the world go round, right? More like five billion. I mean, who knows what the numbers are? I'm just, I'm just saying that it's something. Whatever the number is, it's too much. Did I watch John Cena return? No, I did not. I actually can't stop the pawn. Um, no, I didn't watch it. I don't watch. Uh, I, I don't watch uh, WWE. I haven't watched WWE since I was like 13 years old. And I would watch like Triple H and The Rock. That 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 was uh, that's how much of a boomer I am. That's the last time I watched WWE. And there was like Kurt Angle at that time, I think. Like, yeah, that, that's the last time I really watched. It was W. Yeah, it was WWF. Yeah, it was. It was WWF back then, and um, and then they had to change it because didn't didn't like the wildlife people get really angry or some some something ridiculous like that. Tango Bish B2 here in Castles. Just castle and take. Oh, yeah, there was Rikishi, also the, the Hawaiian guy, right? Or Polynesian. Yeah. That was a long time ago. Go here, maybe take with the night. Did you already surpass your event winnings with Twitch income alone? Not something that I really want to talk about that that much in depth, but I will say that um, I, I wish there was more money in chess. So you can infer what you want from that statement, but I will say that I wish there was more money in chess. And I'd say that not even not even as people who are like somewhat somewhat serious about the game. I mean like top level professionals. Uh, let's go over K one here. Let's go here. Chris Benoit, yeah, he was another one. That's a free juicer. Uh, Chris Benoit was another um, was another wrestler. There's him and there were also like the Jericho brothers, right? I think I just take the bishop, or the knight, rather. Go Rick F1. I just have an extra piece. He's got a pawn. But as long as I can blockade it, the pawn goes nowhere. And eventually, I should be able to clean this up with the extra piece. So first, I'm going to create Lift Lufthansa for my king on h2. And then I start moving the rook, rook to b1 and maybe go rook b8. When am I going to stream at Malibu Beach or Hollywood Boulevard? I don't know. No clue. If, the, if, there was, if there was a luck element in chess, then there would be lots of money, but there's no money when the best player gets to just win no matter what. Maybe that's true. I don't know. Not sure. Do I like to fly Lufthansa? Lufthansa is okay, but Lufthansa, I will say, one thing that I don't like is, like, Lufthansa has a separation between, like, business class and first class, and um, business class is pretty shaky. I mean, it's okay, but, like, their first class is, is way better than their business class, which just doesn't seem right. Um, it's not like say the American Airlines where you have business class, you have like business class and economy. So I'm not a fan of Lufthansa the way they've separated. So that's that's my review of uh of Lufthansa. Go checkmate. 
Also, when I flew on Lufthansa, I think it was the Airbus A300. And what, the one time that I got lucky and I was in business class, uh, they didn't have outlets, as I recall. They didn't have outlets to charge to charge like my headphones or any headphones or my phone or any of that stuff, which was very disappointing. Um, also, I will say their GPS, whatever it was, was very off. Because I remember I posted on Facebook. Uh, it was one of the first times, I think, I think it was after I played Norway Chess in 2015, maybe 14 or 15. And... Um, Let's take and take. It was 2014 and they started having um they started having like the Wi-Fi on the airplane. It was one of the first times I think that I ever saw Wi-Fi. Um and the Wi-Fi had um oh, let's take and go Queen A1. And and the and the Wi-Fi basic not the Wi-Fi, sorry, the uh, the GPS had um it had me in uh let's go here. It had me playing in um or not playing, but being that we were over Brazil when it was obviously a flight from Germany to I think Houston, um to IAH. And um and so, uh, so yeah, it was not, it was not, it was not good. Because basically, the GPS showed me being in Brazil when we we're actually like somewhere over the Atlantic Ocean, uh, and and not in Brazil, <laughs> which was pretty funny. Yeah, this is the game that Pragnanata played in the uh, in the in the in the World Cup. Is this a shortcut? Yeah. But Latanz is okay. Maybe you were over Brazil and the pilot didn't let you know. I'm pretty sure you look at the map. Will I ever do IRL streams? Not. I don't intend to do them. Um, so that's that's not my intention. I, I will, of course, do IRL stuff like what I post on YouTube. But I don't intend to do 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 IRL where like I stream IRL. I think it's. I, I mean, I, I actually I'm somewhat worried, like uh, in some ways, about doing that. I'm gonna play knight c6. Is knight c6 the move or is queen d4 the move? I feel like knight c6 and knight b4 is what pregnant. Well, this is what happened in the first one. Lots of psychos out there. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm a little bit worried for several reasons. Let's take the pawn and go king here. I, I think this is actually Pragnanta's game, if I'm not mistaken. We're very close to it. What stonks do I hold? I, I hold a lot of stonks. What am I worried about? Well, A, I'm, I'm, a, I'm worried about safety first and foremost, um, is, is what I would say. That's the first first part of it. Worried about safety. I think, you know, if I, if I were to go to, say, like Washington Square Park as an example and do something, I don't think it would be 10 people there. I think you'd probably have 50 to 100 people, and that could actually be somewhat dangerous. Um, so that's, that's the first thing that I would say. Um, in, in terms of trying to do IRL is, is that I actually like, I, I kind of, I am worried about safety issues. What's so special about the Pragnanta game? Was it really good? Uh, it was a very fun game. Yeah. It was a fun game. Chess Blitz reported me the other day. Oh, that's, that's fairly sad. Fairly, fairly sad. But yeah, anyway. Thank you to Anya Banana for the two months. Yeah, you guys say higher, higher, higher body cards or higher security, but that already takes away from the fun of the whole thing. Like that takes away the, all the fun of the whole thing. Like that. Then what are you? What's what are you really doing it for? I mean, what are you really doing it for, honestly? If I if I if I if I want to have security cards around me all the time, I might as well just run for president, right? I mean, um, so I, I guess like uh, I think I should be winning here. Maybe I have C three next move. Should be winning here. Um, and should be winning <laughs> anyway. All right, you guys, let's keep going. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we win that game pretty, pretty comfortably. We keep going. Queen G4. You think you got 50 X more people than Levy, Botas and Hans combined? Uh, I think if I show, if I were to show up somewhere randomly, I think it would be okay. But if, if there's, if word ever gets out ahead of time that I'm showing up somewhere, uh, I think there is a, there's a good chance that there would be too many people showing up. So I, I don't know if that answers your question, but that's what I would say. That's what I would say. Let's go Bishop E2 in castles. I can play Bishop D2. Take with the pawn. I castle should be very good here. Um, play rook a1 or queen f4 
Let's go knight g5. Put pressure on the pawns. I have great bishop, great knight. I have bishop f3, queen f4. Okay, I guess I take and go queen f4. I guess I can just take. I can also go bishop f3 maybe. I think I'll just take though and go queen h4 here. f6, h6 are threats. Should be winning. A very fun arena. Thanks. Awesome. Go queen g3. I hit e5. Am I going to win the next tournament? IRL. I'm playing in St. Louis in August, or at least I think I am. Um, in the Rapid and Blitz that should be happening in August. So I think I will be playing there. If you come to India, there will be at least 10,000 people to see you play live. Uh, I mean, India is amazing, actually. I went, When I went to India in 2019, I think it was, for the um, for the uh, uh, Rapid and Blitz event they held in Kolkata, th there was, we went to this uh, this underpass. It was underneath, like, a highway or one of these big, these big, big, um, big roads. And uh, there, there were probably, like, 100 people just playing chess, chilling. And it was really, really fun to see. Really, really fun. Go check and check. Would I show up to see Ikaru? Yes, I'm creepy. No, it's creepy. Only if meet and greet. Oh my god, it's Ikaru. Hey, four sugar for the two months. I run the TMS office beside your computer. I was actually streaming yesterday, and one of the people who works here um, on with the uh, with part of Blitz, one of the devs, they were actually watching my streams. So, like I, I was looking down at the first floor, and I saw on one of the monitors that my my stream was up while I was on a break. So I saw my chair, and it was pretty cool. Did I miss a mate in one? No, queen h4. There's queen h5. There's no mate in one. Actually, I had queen g7, which was forced mate in three. One, one, two, 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 three. There's a forced mate in three that I missed, but anyway, no one's counting. IT checking that I was working. Yeah. No, queen h4 is not mate in one. There's queen h4, queen h5. It was sick to this main line. Um, last time I flew with Hansa airline steward who was built like Dolph Lundgren came and gave myself and my wife goodie bags from first class. And they served free unlimited ice cold beer. They're solid in my, in my book. Awesome. Very nice. Yeah, I can take, I can also actually, what am I doing here? So Pragnanta played this. So he must've had some idea. I'm actually fairly perplexed as to what I'm supposed to do, but I guess I'll go 95. This is the game, right? Okay, my opponent kind of blundered, I guess. No, he blundered. What did Pragna not have in mind? I'm really confused. B2. Really confused by this game. Guess I'll take and go like here, maybe. Not a great position, but I have a great bishop. I have a great... Put the knight here to hold. Hold the rook, and I can take the knight. I mean, I've got a great op. Knight g5. Um, maybe go c3, c2. I'm very close to being lost here, I think. I might just be losing. Looks really bad. Need inception for the 16 months. I don't know, actually. I'm wondering what the move is for black, because this bishop e2 move is very perplexing to me. Whoa, what? That, however, as soon as I say that I think I'm losing, he just throws the game. Or did I just throw the game? Wait, no. He just threw the he just threw the game. What is he doing? As soon I, I just have this magic way of jinxing my opponents. Playing really well, I think I'm losing, and then immediately there's a blunder. Let's just block with the knight. But I'd say the Indians like spicy food. Oh yeah, I, I mean, yeah, Indians. The, the food was the food that I had in Kolkata was always a little bit spicy, but it was really, really good. As somebody who likes um, somebody who likes spicy food, uh, I loved it. I loved it. I think I can. Take my bishop holds the square. I've got a classic wooden shield here, by the way, of course.
Okay, checking meat. Actually, this is just meat. Yeah, the wooden shield is amazing. It's uh, the most most classically uh, most classically uh, powerful concept in the game of chess. Did anyone ever figure out why XQC called it the wooden shield? Like, what game he got that wooden shield X from? I feel like there was something on Reddit, but I don't remember what it was. What was the game that XQC got? There, there's some there's some game that XQC played with. Like, you have a wooden shield, but it has like a big X like that on it. What what was the what was the game called that XQC derived it from? Was it Zelda? It was Zelda. Okay. It was Zelda, okay. I need to collect souls for the uh, 12 months. You're a chess rating. I can't win, unfortunately. I can't I can't go to Santa Monica, but we can still play at chess.com. Brazil. Brazil. Yeah, I haven't been to Brazil in a long time. I went to Sao Paulo one time. Yeah, but I I know XQC derived it from a game. I just wasn't sure which game he derived he derived it from. Go here and take. I actually had this position earlier. I can obviously trade, but I'm just gonna castle here. No need to get crazy. Ten of the thirty two remaining gems in the World Cup are from Russia. That's not surprising. Thank you to Skiznatios for three bucks. Appreciate. It. Thank you, Skiznatios. Do I hate Magnus? That's like that's like when they ask Phil Mickelson, does he hate Tiger Woods? It's the exact same thing. And the simple answer is no, of course I don't. Because Magnus has done a lot of great things for the game of chess and it's benefited everybody. So um, no. That's that's just silly. Let's go here. I mean, it's it's literally the exact same thing. It's like it's like when people ask Phil Mickelson, does he hate Tiger Woods? It's like, of course he doesn't hate Tiger Woods. What, what kind of idiot thinks that? Do I hate Tiger Woods? No, I grew up uh, idolizing Tiger Woods. I mean, like everybody else did. Um, I mean, Tiger was so good back in the day. It's unbelievable. He goes G5. I mean, I think I can go C3. Maybe Knight A4 here even. Uh, let's go here and hit the pawn. I wonder what Phil thinks of Magnus. Very funny. Let's go here, hit the bishop. It's the pawn too. Let's go this way, hit the pawn. And this pawn is just going to rule the day pretty soon. Let's go g6 and take with the pawn. But yeah, that's just, that's just my take at least. Okay, he goes there. I'm going to consolidate my chain. And then I take and just run the pawn down the board. There's just no way to hit it. What I think of Morikawa winning the Open, I didn't. I didn't actually. I mean, I don't follow golf very closely anymore. But uh, I thought it was. I, I. I feel like it's great to see people from all over winning. Winning a lot of the. Winning a lot of the majors now. That's what I would say. Let's go here. You've traveled around the world. What is your favorite food that you've ever gotten? I like all kinds of food. It's all good in its own way. I've been to Sri Lanka. Yes. Okay, goes, actually, I should probably go here and just win the game. Whoa, what? Checkmate. All right, let's play one more. I've been to Albania. Uh, no, I've never been to Albania. Hi, Igor. I watch your YouTube. I decided to pop in. Hope you're doing well, JJ Raffi. Hope all's good. How many countries? Roughly 60. Roughly 60 countries. Um, okay, last game, probably. Okay, wait, so I'm going to play this line because I actually want to see why this is bad. Okay, it does this again. Okay, it's okay. Go here in castles. I guess there I guess I trade in castle. Will I ever go to Alaska? I'd love to go to Alaska sometime. Why are these days young players more strong than old players? Uh, because the age of the average age in chess is going down. People are getting stronger at, at uh, younger and younger ages. Just the nature of technology, the the amount of memorization that's required, it's all it's all adding up. Okay, I'm gonna take here. I think I'm gonna go here and line up a checkmate pattern. 
I've been to Mexico as well. Yeah, Arena Kings will be starting soon. Any 14ers on your calendar to hike this year? No, I have no no plans. Oh, I think I just go here and line it up again. And it's just GG's. Never been to Morocco, no. Uh, we could have a 15 year old world, world champion. I don't think that'll happen, but I think you could have, you, you'll have world champions. I feel like 18, like Gary, 17, 18 around the age of Gary Magnister becoming the best is realistic. I don't really see anything younger. I, I mean, I don't see 15, but yeah, I have no 14ers on my list. Uh, I'd love to go to do some of the ones in the Sawwatch range, maybe down the road, or maybe, maybe some of the, the really nasty ones, like in, in near Aspen. But. I, I really do want to do um, Capital Peak. That's Capital Peak and uh, Capital Peak Pyramid um, are two of the, the ones that rank very highly on my list. They're very dangerous and very difficult, but they're probably two of my favorites. Two of the ones that I, I'm really looking at doing at some point. Let's take the queen here. Go here. Maroon Bells is also, yeah, I, I knew there was a third one. There's, there's Pyramid, Capital, and Maroon Bells. Um, I want to do those three. They're, they're all like class fours. They're all pretty dangerous, which is what I want to do. Anyway, um, but that, the, that's at some point down the road. Go here. Okay, he resigns. All right, we have time for one more game. Thank you to Mr. Suez for the 15 months. Appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, we, we still have a few more coffee chest videos that we're going to be releasing in the near future, you guys. So um, definitely stay tuned for that. Number two, yeah. I guess if I win this game, I'll be number one, right? Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. Okay, so I think it's, I think it's check and queen a one, yeah. Should I enter Arena Kings two? Yeah. Is Boston Mike your best video ever? I don't think it actually. No, I have a video with Mr. Beast that has like five point eight million views, I think. So not quite, but uh, you know, it's not about the numbers. But I, I, I would say that I really enjoyed the video. I really enjoyed it. It was fun. Was king f1 so i guess i do i go queen c1 or do i, I guess i check and go here let's just develop the knight here i guess maybe i have b4 b3 b2 just true caveman just go all in For a new player, it's best to practice slower. Like play ten minutes. Play ten minutes if you're gonna play slower chess and you're new to the game. Definitely, I highly recommend it. Just just play like play play slower slower games. Go here. Thoughts about Fabiano and each getting eliminated? It's the format. The format is very unpleasant to play. I mean, at least 10 minutes, yeah. I mean, I think that's pretty fair. Oh, man, he found a good move. What are White Toshik's chances against Magnus? I think they're decent. I mean, I don't think anybody really knows. Um, but I think they're decent. Is 
Isn't it considered bowling with me being these 2400s? Not really, because uh, I played most of these. I, we're playing the same players. And I'm not, this is unrated anyway, so it's not a big deal. I think I have checkmate here. Okay, Stephens is probably losing. Um... All right, you guys, I think I'm gonna take a break. Uh, we'll, I'll just leave the Stevis game as we finish off this arena. I'm gonna take a short break, run to the restroom, we'll come back. And then we are gonna be playing Arena Kings, so just give me a couple of minutes. <laughs> 